Hi guys. I'm sorry for like being really late in the day. But at the same time, I didn't even know if I was gonna stream today at all. It was kind of like a last minute decision. It's like, I can't lie, I have not been feeling too good today. Today has not been a very good day. Also, yeah, you're good, Caden. It's kind of just like, I'm gonna play Wild Horse Islands for a little bit. And if I get bored or I run out of stuff to do, I'm just gonna play something else, probably. Because, like... I don't think I have the energy in me today to, like, play just one game. I- I can't lie. My day, I've not done anything productive today. I woke up. I got out of bed. I played Horse Valley for, like, five hours straight. Took a break. Got back on. Played it for another two hours. And then laid back down. And then got up, and now I'm streaming. <laughs> that's been my day. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm gonna join a Wild Horse Island's public server, since I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Probably just gonna try to organize my inventory a little bit. Since I still gotta tackle the rest of that. Why is my... Oh, I'm in... not in full screen, that's why. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's early for you. It's like almost 8 p.m. for me. So I've done some clearing in my inventory. I think you guys will be proud of me. I'm at 1,162. And I went from 380 horses to 260 in my main inventory. My locker is still full, but majority of it now is horses that I'm I'm for sure going to keep. Like a bunch of the Forever Falls without halters are in the locker right now. <laughs> that sounds like cool, but oddly scary at the same time, right? Like I feel like that'd look really cool, but it'd also be really scary if they have eyes. Like, I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet today. I am honestly still not feeling the best, but I wanted to stream because I was bored and I don't want to go to sleep yet. It's like, not even eight, you know? So. But I'm gonna see if maybe I can do like a little bit of inventory clear out today. I got a lot of horses to go through still. Like, I still gotta go through majority of my locker. Oh, let me sort by height real quick. So, here, all the way down to, like, here. I got most of these I still have to sort through. There's a few that I've already went through. Um, I don't know values off the top of my head. This isn't really the place to ask values, to be honest. Fair enough, fair enough. I used to make origami when I was bored when I was younger, so... I know, oh my gosh, I'm about to go through so many horses. I don't know, should I tackle my inventory or my locker first? I feel like I should tackle my inventory first, because that's like, I have to put horses in my inventory to go through them. Let me pet Kaboom real quick. <sighs> so, I do know that I'm probably gonna get rid of my whole Coco Mustang collection. I have quite a few of them. Uh, not- not including the foals. The foals stay. I'm not getting rid of the foals. That's not happening. But all of the adult ones that I have are probably gonna go. I'm probably gonna give them away. Or I'm gonna trade them away. One of the two. I don't- I haven't decided yet. Uh, 
is like, I don't know, as much as I love Coco Mustangs, they literally sit in my inventory and do nothing. So there's no point in keeping them. They're just gonna sit there forever and do nothing. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start labeling some things that I wanna sell. I'm gonna sell that guy. I'm gonna sell that guy. I'm gonna sell this guy. This guy is a gift. I'm not gonna go through the ghost horses right now because that's gonna be a whole nother thing. This one has a bad personality, so I'm gonna sell you. Not selling the BBA horses. Those guys have decent personalities. Ooh. I'm gonna keep that guy, I guess. Man, okay. Um, let's see. That's Mr. Wendy. I'm not gonna touch those guys right now. I'm mostly looking for the- hold on, let me just look up Percheron, because I'm gonna go through all the Percherons first. I got quite a few of them. Okay, I guess they're all in my locker right now. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna keep this guy. Probably the Forever Full. Um... Okay, never mind. That's all the Percherons. Let me look through Clyde's next. I think I already went through all the V1, uh, V2 Clyde sales. Yeah, because I don't have a lot of V2 Clydesdales. Okay, what about Frisians? I know I can't really get rid of any of these guys yet because I'm still trying to... I can't get rid of any of the black Frisians yet. Most of the white Frisians are already been transferred off my account. Uh, I'll sell that guy. Keep that one for breeding. Uh, I'm probably just gonna sell that one. Hello. Sorry if I'm not paying attention to chat. I don't. I don't want to accidentally sell the wrong horse and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, it's been pretty like popular news that Maple Springs is gonna be deleted when Stride Away becomes free. So it's not like shocking it was originally but now it's just like oh well that's a dumb decision on their part but they do whatever they want you know not my game so it's not my choice if it was me from a game dev standpoint i would say it would be a better idea to leave maple springs eventing up even if it's not being updated because they'd still earn money off of that and what if people like MSE better for whatever reason? You, imagine having like a thousand players on two different horse games. That'd be even more beneficial for them. I don't know why they're really doing that. If it's from like a standpoint of like how much would benefit them, they'd benefit more from keeping it. Uh, this guy, I don't know why I have this guy. Um, I'm just gonna put, I know who I can give that to. We'd probably want that, so. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to tackle the ghost TBs today. I'm pretty sure majority of these were gifts, though. So what I'll probably do is I'll... Mark down one of them to keep on my main account. Or put in storage. And then the rest of them I'll put on an account that's, like, I have solely for storing gifts. I have multiple of those accounts. Uh, let's see. I think majority of the horses in my inventory, besides the ghost horses, I've already gone through. Or, like, I know for a fact I'm going to keep. Do I really need all of these Marwaris? I really don't think I do. Here, I'll sell this one. And I'll sell this one. And I'll keep that one. And I'll keep this guy, because I'm pretty sure he's OG. Oh, no, wrong one. You are OG. I'm gonna keep that guy. And look at Marwaris. I don't have many Marwaris. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't. 
need it anymore. This one, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep that one for breeding. Or... Cross coats. Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm just like doing it by horse breed because I feel like that's gonna be... Do I have any Arabians I need to get rid of? Where are the mods? Probably busy. I'm not played straight away. Um, I'm not gonna spend the Robux on it because honestly, I like Maple Springs of Inten better if I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, Maple Springs of Inting is literally the same game. The only difference is the horse models are better in Strideaway. That's it. That's the only difference. I was watching my friend Evan play it. And it's... It's literally... Like, half the stuff is just reused for Maple Springs of Inting. So if I want to play it, I'm just going to play Maple Springs of Inting instead until Strideaway is free. So, like... You know, honestly, I wouldn't spend your Robux on it. I just wait till it's free. I It seems like a good game, but I don't think it's worth that much Robux. I don't think I have any Arabians at all that I need to get rid of right now. Nope, that's all the ones I'm keeping. Okay, what other breeds do I need to look through? Do I have any quarter horses? Okay, we're fine on quarter horses, Appaloosas. Um, I don't know where this one came from. I'm gonna put probably giveaway. That was a gift from a viewer. That guy needs to be forever. Okay, we're good on Appaloosa. What about paint horses? Okay, yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, it's very expensive. Did you get any good stuff? Um, I did turn on all my butterflies. I got a couple decent things. But that's a video that's gonna come out. I'm just waiting for that to be done editing. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think. What other horse breeds have I not looked through yet? I haven't looked through thoroughbreds. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, though, to look through the thoroughbreds. Okay, majority of it's just ghost TBs. Um, is this OG? That is, I think. OG. Here, let me do fudge. Not for trade. I haven't updated their name still. Cinnamon Bread, Dancing Devil, that's for Forever Falls. I'm probably just gonna get rid of this guy. Let me unlock that. All the other thoroughbreds are fine. I'm not going through the ghost thoroughbreds right now. That's not happening. I'm doing that. I'll do that later. I'm not going through the ghost thoroughbreds right now. Uh. Icelandics. I haven't looked through Icelandics yet. Okay. Icelandics are fine. Not much there. <sighs> um... I haven't looked through fjords. I don't have a lot of fjords, though. This guy I was gonna give away as well, but I know someone who I can give that away to, probably. I'm probably not gonna keep this guy forever. I'm just gonna say, like, cause it's, I, I have to say, I like the Palomino coat, and I used to try to keep those put on alt. Put that on my alt later. Okay, I think that's all, like, the horse breeds, unless I'm forgetting one. Um, I forgot the Mustangs, but I think I literally, yeah, it's, like, only Coco Mustangs, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, now I think that's all the breeds that I've looked through. Unless I am forgetting something again, which I don't think I am. 
Okay, let's see. I went through Frisians, Clydesdales, Pertrans, Thoroughbreds, Quarter Horses, Appies, Paints, Mustangs, Icelandics, Marwaris. I haven't gone through Tekes, but I think I literally only have, yeah, I have five Tekes. Yeah, I have a lot of, I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of gray, dapple gray V1 Clydesdales. It's okay, like, I don't know if I'm gonna part ways with any of them because I really like them. But like, I don't know, it's possibility that I might part ways with some of the unnamed ones. Okay, let's see. They're all okay, so those are don't sell. We got some more of these guys to sell. I really don't have the patience to try and sell these all off. Um, if you guys want, I can just throw up some horses on the stalls really quick. If you guys want some horses, I'll just throw them up for as cheap as I can put them. Because I just, I just don't need them. You still play SSO? I do. I just haven't been streaming it lately. And I haven't been playing recently because I've also been playing a bunch of other time consuming games. <laughs> That's a cute RUH. Here, I'll throw up a couple horses for cheap if I can. Um, here, I'll put this guy up. I don't remember how much. I'll just put like a thousand coins. I just don't need them in my inventory. I literally don't care. I just want them gone. And I know there will be at least one person who yells at me if I sell all these cross coats and stuff. To Larry. So. Here. Here's an, here's an OG stat. Um, here's an OG stat Grey Frisian if anybody wants that. I, I did go through quarter horses already. I don't have like hardly any quarter horses in my inventory. Um, here is an OG stat legacy Marwari. Okay, here is a Frisian. God burned the barn house. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds like The Sims. <laughs> so, that sounds like The Sims. Oop, hold on. Drug in there. I am sorry if you guys hear my dogs barking. Okay. Hi, Layla. It's been a while. Oh, because you didn't have a TV when I was saving up for it. <laughs> oh, no. That is devastating. Okay, let's see. Um, I have another OG stat Marwari. Why is this one so expensive? That one's kind of expensive. I, did I max that one out or something? Oh, yeah. It's fully maxed out. That would explain it. I don't think anybody wants this one, so... Here. This guy for... 750. I don't know who that is, but I literally have a twin of that horse. And yes, you're right. I would love that because I have an identical one. <laughs> 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 I 
Anything new? Not really, to be honest. Twins. <laughs> I think I only have one more Clydesdale. Yeah, I only got one more Clyde. I'll do that one for 550. There you guys go. It's been a little bit since I had Transparent out. Okay, um, I, I don't really have anything else that I think is worth selling. You guys want me to put up a black OG stat Marwari? A random cot done Marwari? Or a, a OG stat white TB? Because that's the only ones I got left. The done? Okay, I... I'll do that. Because that's like the cheapest I can really go. I don't think it has OG stats or anything, but it's one I caught myself. I think this was the first one I caught. I'm not sure. I don't remember which color I caught first, but that was one I caught on like the first day, I believe. And then I'll just put the other two up for whatever price I can put them at. And if they get bought, they get bought. If not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that's that problem solved. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Oh, I, I love Beethoveniano IUHs. They're so cute. Wait, come back. We're twins. Look. Got the twin horsey. <laughs> I love, I love Beethoveniano IUHs. <laughs> Would you have two million? I've, I've had two million for a while. I've been waiting to do a stupid um, market hunting video and I just haven't done it yet because I just haven't had the energy. Yeah, I might, as much as I love all my Bay Tobiano IUHs, I might trade some of them away. Only the ones I traded for, though. Only the ones I traded for, though. Because I'm not going to trade away any that were gifts or things like that, because that's just wrong. I promised I wouldn't trade away Avia. Luna's not getting traded. Little Lady won't get traded. Salad's not going to get traded. Uh, Bristle won't. Nutella won't. But... Transparent Nathan and Heath potentially might get traded away, but I cannot guarantee at the moment. I do not know for sure. Like, I also wanted to trade, um, Raspberry. I love Raspberry. They have a very important birthday, but at the same time, it's like, I'm lo I've am i lost attachment to them again. And it's like, really, at this point, it's just not worth me keeping them around. I don't know. I've been trying to... I've been hoping that potentially I might be able to trade Raspberry for an IUH TV of some kind. Because Raspberry is a rare coat. I don't think that adds like a ton of value for the tech A's, but it's still like something, you know? Maybe, just maybe, I could get a low tier IUH TV for this lady. But I have not had any- I haven't gotten any good offers, really, that have that haven't been just another tech IUH. Which is just gonna have the same problem. I don't- I don't want another tech A, tech -A IUH because I'm gonna lose attachment to it. Immediately! My joins are on. I have no idea if my server is full, though. 
But like, I don't know. I've debated because I'm curious. I've not had much luck trading on the Wild Horse Islands Discord servers. Would you guys be interested if I like posted stuff I'm trading on the community tab or in like video shorts and stuff like that? And then you guys could like offer on it. Because if people are actually interested in that, I might put the time and effort into potentially doing that. But if nobody cares, I'm not gonna put the time and effort into that. I don't know. I'll probably do like a... You know, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do a community tab poll. Because whenever I'm in doubt, I do a community tab poll. And usually you guys give me a solid answer on there. Let me do that real quick. While I'm thinking about it. All right, are, all right, are you guys interested in me posting about things I'm trading on Wild Horse Islands or other horse games like Horse Valley? If so, how should I do it? Question mark text poll. Yes, use community tab. Yes, use short. Or no, slash, I don't care. So, okay, that's on the community tab now if you guys want to check that out and vote on that. And I'll look back at that later. Don't mind fart. Who has a horse named Fart Spray? <laughs> what kind of... Who, how would you come up with that? Where do you vote? Okay, so if you click on my channel thing, so it takes you to my main channel page. If you go there... Um, I'm pulling up on my end so I can walk you through this. If you click on my main channel page, you should see a bunch of little, like, tabs. There should be, like, home, videos, shorts, live. Um, and there should be a community tab there. So if you click on the community tab, there should be a poll right there. If you scroll down, like, ever so slightly, it should be right there. And then you can just click on the option that you want. Seems like community tab is the winner at the moment. But like, I have a lot of horses to trade. Like, here, hold on. I'll show you guys real quick. This is not, this is just the ones that I have labeled trade too. Some of these are kind of outdated. Like... Let me move the ones that aren't actually, I'm not actually trading because these, some of them are like old from when I was trading region cross coats and stuff like that. Okay, all of this stuff in here is stuff I'm trading. We got ghost, uh, we got a ghost black Frisian here, which I'm going to be a little picky on probably because I spent a lot of money on him. He's also the, uh, if you guys remember the Vanishing Herd. He's, the, he was the spooky guy. He was the evil villain. He was the evil ghost Frisian. This is him, right here. He's gonna be traded away. We got Impure Bot Clover Collide. We got this V1 Mismatch. We got this random guy. We got a Mismatch Apple TV. We got this funny guy. We got this funny guy. We got Impure Wildcat Red Ghost Frisian, Impure Wildcat Easter TV, Pure Bot Black Ghost Clydesdale, and a Pure Wildcat Pink Ghost Clydesdale, which were both V1s. Yeah, not the evil Ghost Frisian. I might play Jurassic World Evolution 2 sometime. I'm just, I'm not sure at the moment. 
Because I gotta make sure there's nothing, like, inappropriate in the game. I gotta make sure it's family-friendly. And if it has anything that might potentially upset people, I gotta write that down and make a notice about it and stuff like that. I tried- I go through a lot to make sure that the games I play are family-friendly for you guys, so... But if I do trade these guys, which I'm most definitely going to, the only one I might not trade off immediately is this guy because I'm, I'm still like, I'm not that attached to him, but I just, he's special to me. I forked out a lot of money to get him. You have that 1v1 free mismatch? I do, yes. She's still in my inventory. Her name is Whitney she is thank you for the sub i appreciate it i still have her i love her she's great i'm not i'm not gonna do trading at the moment i'm showing off stuff that i will post on the community tab if you guys want me to like do stuff like that huh? i'm getting rid of all these names really quick because a lot of this stuff i was like oh i'm gonna trade it and then i just never did so i'm gonna remove their names what does bba stand for it is bunny burrow academy it is my writing club that i own Ooh, a horse fair you better take pictures Uh, no, I'm not accepting gifts at the moment. I'm trying to clear out my inventory so I can accept gifts for my birthday. Because <laughs> that's coming up semi-soon. How long do I have until my birthday? Okay. One, two, three. Just a couple days over three weeks. So... Yeah, it's fun. <sighs> so I gotta try to get my inventory cleared out before then. So I can accept at least some gifts for my birthday. Because I, I promised people I would. So I'm going to. It's just gonna take a lot of effort to get that done in time. Hold on, I'm checking my notifications. I try to keep up with my notifications even when I'm streaming. Okay. To get backpack upgrades, you need them. I will gladly take any unwanted backpack upgrade kits. <laughs> because my inventory is crying 90% of the time because I have, like, no inventory space. See, but I'm- I'm- but I'm- Probably gonna have to do for birthday gifts as much as it sucks is I'm probably gonna have to set some pretty strict gifting rules so that way my inventory doesn't just get overflown again immediately after I spent so long clearing it out. Um, what I'll probably do for like gifts that aren't backpack upgrade kits I will probably have, like, the first week of May. Because, literally, my birthday is on the last day of the first week of May. My birthday is May 7th. So, if I do the first week of May, that's, like, perfect. If you guys have backpack upgrade kits you don't want, I will gladly take them right now. <laughs> if you if you are in-game. Because, like, it, it all helps. It all really does help. Hold on. It's gonna disappear. Oh, I got to that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot? I just randomly remembered something. There was a segment in one of the videos that I was supposed to record, and I forgot to record it. So I'm going to have to do that after stream. I'm immediately going to use those. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, I know, like... Okay, my green screen just fell down. Are you okay, baby? Did I scare you, honey? My green screen just fell over. <laughs> Anyways. What was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying before my green screen interrupted me? I don't remember. Oh, I do remember. Um, a lot of people are busy right around and on my birthday because lucky for me, my birthday falls like right in state testing time every year. So that's really fun. So uh, everybody I know that's still in school has testing like on my birthday almost always. I know I used to have like, uh, I used to have like uh, state test final things on my birthday every year when I was in public school. <laughs> you guys are free to take screenshots if you want to, but just be mindful of other people, please. Oh, your birthday was this month. No, no, no. It's like at the very beginning of next month. I'm fine with you guys. If you want to tell me something, go for it. I'm, I might not see it immediately, but go for it as long as it's not like crazy personal i don't care oh almost birthday twins isn't Oh my god, I can't remember the day Tem's birthday is on for the life of me because I keep getting it mixed up, I think. Here, hold on. I might message Tim and be like, hey, what day is your birthday on? Because I can't remember. <laughs> Unless anybody in chat knows. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm. <laughs> Tim, what day is your birthday on? I forgot. I can't remember. <laughs> Isn't it 20 something? <laughs> hold on, I'm messaging Tim about it. <laughs> I don't remember. All I know is it's somewhere around my dad's birthday. Okay, I was right! Okay. I was right. I thought it was a certain day, and I was right. I just didn't know for sure. <laughs> okay, well, Dad's confirmed now, so that's not going to be eating away at my brain all night. Man, you know what? I like, as much as I don't want to get into trading, I probably should get into trading again. Um, I don't know if I have a good offer for IUHs at the moment, or like any high tier horse at the moment, to be honest. Oh, nice, Ivy. Oh, I love Dapple Gray. That's amazing. Like, I don't know. I don't got a ton to trade right now. And I prefer getting offers for my stuff than trying to offer for other people's stuff. Because I'm, like, so afraid that I'm going to, like, insanely overpay or something. Can I get advice for getting asked out? Well, like, do you like the person? 
or not. Because I feel like that's kind of important. Okay, well, if you like the person and they ask you out, tell them you like them back. And if you are ready for a relationship, say, okay, we can be in a relationship. Just don't overthink it. If they like you, you like them, take the chance. If it goes badly and things don't work out, break things off on good terms. But if you are ready, if you think you're ready for a relationship and you both like each other, go for it. At least give it a chance. It's in a school where you can't date. I mean, you could always date outside of school. I know majority of schools have a policy where you can't show like physical affection towards significant others and things like that on school property. That's a very normal thing. So just, if you have a way to contact them outside of school, you can date that person outside of school and just don't make it a big deal at school. Because, like, that's kind of the thing a lot of people should do, you know? If someone asks you out... Okay, this is just, like, if somebody asks you out and it's for a dare, that's not funny. That's not a good dare. Especially if that person actually likes you. That's just messing with people's feelings. That's not nice. And if somebody ever does that to you, and you do like them back, and then they say, oh, it was just a prank or something, then tell them, oh yeah, I was just joking too. I could do way better. Get them back. If they're gonna prank you with something as mean as that, get them back. Like, that's just terrible. Don't do that to people. It's not funny to play with people's feelings. It really isn't. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any trading today. Probably not, but... Um, I don't really have anything else for sale at the moment. I'm, like, I'm slowly going through my inventory. I'm just doing it little by little so I don't get burnt out. Uh, I used to be Pocky Points. Or Pops. But we changed it because I literally... Pocky Bot deleted himself. <laughs> When I was transferring computers. What are you witch hunting tips you have? Um, I'm not the person to ask for that stuff. My friend Tamaria has a really good IUH hunting video that has plenty of like tips and tricks. I would recommend checking that out. She could tell you basically everything I could tell you and more. So I would recommend just going watching that at some point. That would be pretty sad, but at the same time, people, it should be normalized for people to know that asking people out as a dare is a mean thing to do, and you shouldn't do it. it. Whether your friends say you should or not, if your friends are telling you to prank somebody by asking them out, don't be friends with that person, or tell them no. I do believe I remember you, because I'm pretty sure I said something about also having a horse named Paris. Do you like my bio? You could say I like Arabians. I'm gonna take a wild guess, and I'm gonna say you really love Arabians. Bro, I hate people sometimes. No offense to you guys. You guys are good people. You- you got- before anybody yells at me, you guys are good people. I- Okay, like, I don't like people a lot of the time, right? Especially in person. You guys are- you guys are the good ones. But there is some people who just genuinely suck. And I really wish I never spoke to them. Or had to look at them. 
Like, I feel like most people have felt that way about at least somebody, right? I just genuinely hate certain people. Because, like, oh my gosh. I don't like people. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I go on little rants sometimes. Yeah, hold on. I'll go check that out real quick. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna mute my audio for a second. Oh, that horse is so pretty. Oh my gosh. That's such a pretty horse. Okay, there we go. Audio's back. But here's the thing. If, if someone you're friends with is doing something that's making you uncomfortable or things like that, just politely tell them. Like, be like, hey, can I talk to you? This thing has been bugging me and I would appreciate if we could find some compromise. Or maybe we could find a way to prevent it if it's something you can't control or like things like that. Like just sit down and genuinely talk to that person and try to find a solution or a compromise. Look, I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm for a long time, I've been like the therapist friend. I, a lot of people talk to me about their problems. I've also been through a lot of stupid stuff in my life, so. I feel like some things I'm at least semi-qualified to, like, talk about and give a little advice on. But obviously, at the same time, it's like, don't take everything I say completely to heart. You should ask other people on their advice as well and make your own conclusion. You shouldn't just take everything I say and just do it. Take it into account. Are you comfortable doing that? You want other people's opinions? Don't just... Don't just do it because I say it. Make sure that's something you fully want to do and you get other people's opinions on it as well. Yeah, it would be very crazy. It, it would it'd be very wild. You guys are welcome to ask questions. I'm, you don't have to ask to ask questions, just to ask them. And if I don't see them, wait a minute or so and then ask again and I'll probably see it eventually. Oh, that's nice, Sophie. Did you say it was pretty earlier? You know, to be honest, I literally cannot remember. <laughs> I literally can't remember. I have, a, I have just a little bit of short-term memory loss sometimes. You get asked out by multiple people in one day. Um, I'm I I don't know how to help you there. Honestly, I've never experienced something like that. That's something I would say perhaps talk to a trusted adult about or someone that you trust that potentially has experience because I do not have experience in regards to that specifically. But here's the thing this might be an unpopular opinion so listen listen with caution and you can yell at me if you want to i don't care anybody can be annoying and it's okay to be annoying but if someone is annoying you you should be honest about it and be like hey that thing you do kind of annoys me can you maybe not do that or can we find a way that to make a solution for both of us so both of us are happy like to be honest everybody's a little annoying in some way to cer to certain people or just in general i'm annoying too sometimes i can't lie you know i i've been i'm sure plenty of people find me annoying but like that's okay that's totally okay and if any of my friends ever find me annoying, I would expect them to be like, Hey, that annoys me. Can you please not do that? And I would stop it. Like. <laughs> if people, like, say you look annoying, they're just dumb. 
You can't look annoying. If they're calling your looks annoying, they're just bad people. You see the horses for trade? I'll walk over and show them again in a minute, and I'll probably post them on the community tab or shorts later, depending what people want on the community poll that I posted. Someone dates your best friend when they talk to you, but when they talk to you, they're completely rude. Um, I would say maybe talk to your friend about that and express to them how you feel and how you've been treated. Because, I'm just gonna say this now, you really shouldn't hide that stuff from your friend. If your friend is dating somebody, and that person your friend is dating is upsetting you or making you uncomfortable, tell your friend. Express to them how their significant other has been making you feel. Like, that's some- I can't really give specific advice because I don't know what exactly is happening. But talk to your friend about it. Express to them how you feel. There is nothing wrong with telling somebody how you feel, especially if you are being talked badly to. Hello. Like, I'm just gonna say this now. I'm not gonna judge anybody ever for, like, asking for advice. I've asked for advice in people's stream chats before. As long as it's not inappropriate and as long as it's not, like, dangerous or, like really really upsetting i'm not gonna care I, like ask me if i don't have any advice to give i don't but just maybe i might who knows let's say a teacher in your school is picking favorites and you're not one of them as much as i want to say that's uncommon it's very common i know how that feels um i know how that feels because i was one of the favorites when i was younger and i felt really bad because i could tell other people were really upset about it um, I would say find another teacher to talk to about or talk to your guidance counselor or something like that. And if that doesn't work, I really don't know what to tell you because the school system in America sucks. Do I tell a principal or therapist about it? Um, I would say maybe talk to your principal about it if you can. If you can't talk to your principal, talking to a therapist or guidance counselor would be your next best bet, is, is my guess. They probably can't really do anything too crazy, but they might be able to at least talk to the teacher about it. Because maybe, maybe, just maybe, that teacher is picking favorites and doesn't really realize that. Because I've seen stuff like that happen before. It's like, okay, here's the thing, right? I'm just going to say this now. The American school system sucks really bad. As somebody who literally had to quit public school because the school system literally would not help me when I experienced severe trauma because of their like in their school building and they wouldn't help me with it to the point that i literally had to give up on public school like i can say for with all of my heart the american public school system sucks online school homeschool has been one of the best things that's ever happened to me but also one of the worst um trauma is the trauma i'm not going to get into because it's very bad and it's very personal so i'm not gonna get into that but all i'm gonna say is it was bad enough to literally make my life a living hell for four years straight so I'll, you can speculate what you want but i'm not gonna get into that but all the all the school could do was like all right you know this person that did something bad? Yeah, no. We'll we'll make it we'll we'll get them in trouble if they talk to you. That's all they were willing to do to help me. That's it. 
And it's like, I feel really bad for saying how much I hate the school system and things like that because my aunt is a teacher. But look, look, look. Some teachers are really sweet. The school system can still suck and there can still be really nice teachers, right? My aunt, awesome. Love my aunt. She is a, I believe, what is it? I don't know how, I don't know what to refer to as. You know, like the class for the kids who need like extra help with learning and things like that or who might have learning disabilities and things such as that. She works with, she works with that. That's what she works with. She's a very sweet person and she does, she's very good at her job. If people are making fun of you for depression, just literally don't pay attention to them because they just are being mean for no reason. Yeah, that stuff. She's- she's a very good person. My aunt's a very good person. Like, oh my gosh. I'm- I'm so glad that, like, online school programs exist that allow you to go at your own pace because that is the only reason I've been able to make it through school. Like, here's the thing. Everybody should have at least one person or somewhere that they can vent. I know I have a couple friends that I can I feel comfortable enough to vent to about most things. Just a matter of finding somebody who will actually sit down and listen. And, you know, like, not be mean about it. Honestly, I'm not really good on the topic of bullying. I've never experienced it myself. The closest thing I have experienced to it is one of my friends was bullied. Um, I would say talk to a trusted adult about it, whether it be your parents or teachers or whoever you feel like you can trust that might be able to help you with that situation. See, like, I get it. I get not being able to talk to your parents about things. I feel that way a lot of the time, too. Your favorite color, pink. I love pink. That's my favorite color. See, like, I'm gonna tell you guys now. Homeschool is nice, but it also has a lot of downside. Like, I have one real-life friend. <laughs> I have one real life friend. Every single one of my other real life friends doesn't talk to me. Anymore. They, they don't talk to me anymore. So I was able to get the education I need and stuff like that and was able to heal and recover from my trauma. But at the same time, I have lost almost all real life social interaction with other people outside my family. And it sucks a lot, but it's a sacrifice that I kind of had to make, so. It was either, it was either homeschool or mental hospital, and I chose homeschool, so. <laughs> That's a long story that you guys might hear someday, but today, today's not that day. I am not Christian, I'm, I'm not religious in any way. Your favorite instrument? I really don't know. I'm not much of an instruments person. I would say probably the drums because I wanted to play drums when I was younger. If your friends bully you, they're not friends. It's one thing if it's like jokingly bullying and both of you do it. I know, like, me and some of my friends, like, me and Caden, we bully each other, like, jokingly all the time. What are your tips on getting tokens? Um, stock up your market if you have extra stuff to sell, and horse hunt, and sell whatever horses you don't keep. Horse hunt, sell the horses, mine, sell the stuff you get from mining. Might not make a ton of money, but that's really the only good ways right now that... Don't involve trading and selling stuff. 
Favorite horse breed in Wild Horse Islands? Thoroughbred. Thoroughbred. Yeah, no. <laughs> if if people saw how me and Caden acted in like <laughs> in private voice chats, they'd probably think me and Caden hate each other. <laughs> but it's not true. It's not true. Me and Kate, we besties. We, me and Kate, we're besties, right? We are besties. But we bully the hell out of each other. <laughs> so. What if a guy that your friend bullies? Your friend bullies in front of your friend. But about your friend. Um, if you're not comfortable with him, like, jokingly bullying you or whatever, then just, like, don't be friends with that, because that kind of sounds toxic. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. It's hard being a YouTuber sometimes. Um, it can be. I don't think it'll ever be as hard as, like, a real job, at least at the area that I'm at. For the really big YouTubers, I could see that being a nightmare, but, like... If it says anything, there was a period of time where I was so stressed out from people joining me in Wild Horse Islands that I had multiple breakdowns in voice chats with my friends because I was so unbelievably stressed out and then a viewer would join and it would just set me off completely. I'm, I'm, I'm off and on in a really bad emotional state, so... What's your favorite Roblox game besides Wild Horse Island? Um, right now I'm gonna say probably Horse Valley. Oh, and who? I don't know who. Someone said they have a backpack kit for me, but I don't know where they are in the giant crowd of horses. I've I have already answered the tokens question. Do you feel when a fan joins you now? I don't mind it. All I ask is that if you guys join me and I seem like I'm trying to, like, avoid people or I'm, like, running away or I'm hiding on my island and stuff like that, just just leave me alone because <laughs> I'm probably stressed out. Normally, I'm totally fine with viewers joining me as long as people are, like, respectful and chill about it. Like, if you join my game, please don't, please don't scream, like, oh my god, it's vanilla vanilla in the chat and things like that. Just... Private message me or something and be like, hi, I'm a fan. Like, I'm totally cool with interacting with you guys. As long as you guys are like, chill. I'm not like, it stresses me out when people join and just immediately reveal me to the whole server. Do you want a stick? No, no, thank you. I'm good. I appreciate the offer, though. <laughs> you know, if people are standing still, and other people come to the island, it glitches them out sometimes. I know sticks are great and amazing, but I'm pretty sure I already have a bunch of them. Wrong thing. I have 78 sticks. I don't really need any more. I think I'm, I think I'm good on sticks for now. How's your day going? If I'm gonna be honest, my day has kind of been, like, not amazing been like okay but it's not been anything special Guy says he likes you, but his friends say he doesn't. Who do you believe? 
Um, I'm not really sure in that situation. I think it's more of like, are his friends known to be untrustworthy? Is there a reason they would tell you that besides like genuinely trying to warn you? Like, gotta have more context to that to have like an actual like conclusion. His name is Chunky Rocks. Oh, that's cute. Um, I'm on my private island right now. Okay, sorry. I was responding to a message. See the horse is not- Yeah, sure. Hold on, do that real quick. And then I'll grab the, the, the backpack kit from the person. Alright. These are all the horsies that I'm gonna try to trade probably soon. I'll click on each of them and show them for a second. Who's your favorite singer? Um... Solo singer by themselves, Odatari. He does. He has a lot of swearing in his songs, though. So just a warning. Um, band-wise, Imagine Dragons. What are your thoughts on raisins? I like raisins. Are you a sporty person? Uh, no, not anymore. I used to be. Not anymore, though. I used to play soccer, actually. Um, as of right now, I do not accept gifts, so I would just politely decline if somebody tried to give me a gift. I, of course, I appreciate the thought of anybody wanting to give me a gift at all. I really do appreciate it. But majority of the time, I don't accept gifts unless it's a special occasion. Oh my gosh, a wild tango. Um, I'm not gonna trade stuff at the moment. I'm gonna be posting about them either on my shorts tab or my community tab. Probably one by one or like a couple at a time to try and trade. So if you're interested in any of those horses, look out for those posts. <laughs> Thoughts on Taylor Swift. Um, I like her older music. I'm not the biggest fan of her newer music. But she's okay. I, I don't hate her or anything. Like my horse. Your horse is very cute. It, ma I, it matches your avatar too. Right, let me go back over to the more open area. Um, I'm not gonna ask Tem stuff like that. That's something you would ask Tem, and I'm pretty sure she has a specific thing set up to tour petting zoos. Um, I don't even know if she does them anymore, really. But that's- that's a Tem question. That's on a guy who's only with you for your sister? Get rid of him. Get him out of here. Okay, I have something 
to tell you guys. I got something to tell you guys. Hold on, let me just fully confirm. Hold on. I gotta make sure before anything. I don't think Tim's lurking in chat today. Oh my gosh. I, okay, I'll get that backpack kit in a second. Just keep yelling at me in the chat until I get it. My back hurts. I've been having a lot of back problems lately. Okay. I had to make sure before I say anything. But I have something important to tell you guys. I will get the I'll get the kit after I'm done. Because this is very important. I'm only saying this once. Okay? I'm only saying this once. Today is a very, a very important day for me. And I'm finally going to explain to you guys why Raspberry's birthday is so important to me. If you don't know who Raspberry is, this is Raspberry, right? You see her birthday, right? October 13th. Are you guys ready to know why this date has been so important to me and why i've held on to this horse for so long i'm about i'm about to blow your guys' minds no it's not friday it's not because it's friday the 13th october 13th 2023 was the day that me and Tango started dating. Today, we have been together for six months. <laughs> I know I haven't said anything. I wanted to stay quiet about it because, like, I don't want to make that super public but i felt like it's been half a year today it's been half a year today so like i figured to you know today would be a good day to talk about it and i wanted to, i had to make sure it was okay with tango and stuff like that first but yeah that's been going on for a while <laughs> i, I kind of figured this is what chat's response is gonna be <laughs> i gotta figure this is what chat's response is gonna be But yeah, so that's exciting. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get the backpack kit. I'll get the backpack kit. Where are you at? Which person are you? Tell me in game. Which person are you? Well, yeah, like, okay, some of the mods already knew. <laughs> some of the mods already knew. Stop, guys! Oh my gosh. I would time you out, but I can't in Roblox chat. <laughs> okay, I think it's this person. Is it, is it you? That has the, who has the kit? My trades are on. Just come here and trade me. <laughs> so I can get this darn kit and we can stop talking about it. <laughs> People... <laughs> You're all done, hold on. I'll take a picture. I'm gonna show you what's going on in game chat. Okay. <laughs> P 
Thank you, Savannah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, like, genuine question, though. Was this actually a ship that I didn't know about? <laughs> Were there people that genuinely, like... Oh, there's a moth in my room. Hello, how are you? This was genuinely a thing? How did I... How did nobody ever tell me about this? There's no way. You guys are messing with me. You guys have to be... You have to be messing with me. There's no way. There's no way that this many people genuinely <laughs> genuinely shipped me and tango together there's <laughs> there's no way i don't believe you oh my god <laughs> I, I don't believe you guys i don't believe that you guys <laughs> I don't believe that you guys knew and like shipped us before I actually told you. At least the viewers wise. I couldn't believe it friends wise. But I don't believe I don't believe you guys at all. It that is kind of weird. That is kind of weird. But like what? I refuse to believe that that's actually a thing. I refuse to believe that. Also, whoever said... Okay, why do people think moths are horrible? I don't know. Moths are cute. You guys want to hear a sad story? When I was younger, there was a moth in my bathroom. And I named him. I don't remember what I named him. I, I named him. And I really liked him. And then my mom flushed him down the toilet. And I was... I literally cried. I was so devastated. You spelt these wrong. <laughs> the toilet set him free. <laughs> he got flushed. <laughs> I was so devastated. I was like, no. <laughs> got a text from an unknown number saying, I see you. That sounds like a 10 year old trying to prank text you. So I wouldn't worry that much. I would say maybe tell like your parent, but. Nessa, you missed it. I tried to tell you. <laughs> Cuz Nessa said if you if you do it on stream, message me so I can witness it. And Nessa didn't get here quick enough. <laughs> what was the moth's name? I genuinely don't remember. Nessa, are you okay? Yeah, no, just don't don't ship the mods together, guys. Don't ship me with the mods. Well, okay. You get my point. It's one thing if it's me and Tango, but it's a different story if it's other people because a lot of the mods are minors and some of the mods are adults. So let's not ship the mods together, please, guys. I don't want that to become an issue. Yeah, like, a lot of the mods are, like, little siblings to me. Or older siblings to me. Thoughts on a minor. What does that mean? <laughs> That's not really specific. Like, do I like kids? Because if so, kids are cool. If that's what you're asking, I don't really know what you mean by that. Someone just said thoughts on a minor and didn't. But you gotta give me more context because I don't know what you mean by that. I I know I phrased it bad. I wasn't intentional. You know, stream chat's being so nice and wholesome. And then in-game chat is just screaming out a ship name that you guys came up with in like three seconds. 
Stop! It wasn't intentional. I said I I phrased it poorly. Give the moth in your room a name. I literally don't know where he went. I'll he's, I'll name him. Um, his name could be Tim. Like T I M. Name is Tim. <laughs> Tango. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna stop you, Tango. You you can you can <laughs> smite the shippers if you want to. <laughs> I can't do anything in game, so. Got some oranges for sale. I can check that out real quick. I can always use some more oranges for Ken. Oh my gosh, I always miss that jump. All right, I will go check out your market real quick then. Tim is everywhere. I don't like this. <laughs> what am I? I feel like I'm missing some context here. Oh, there they are. The oranges. Here, I bid 500 tokens. Yay! I almost have 200 oranges for Ken. He's gonna be very happy. My thing is, I'm scared on how fast they came up with one. Literally, like, three seconds. Three seconds, almost, after I said it. Chat was already had a ship name and was already screaming it in the in-game chat. How did you manage that so fast? I'm genuinely scared. I am genuinely afraid. How did you guys come up with that so fast? Oh, I need some water. We had it planned? <laughs> no. They're, I don't believe you guys. <laughs> oh my- I, I swear, the entire in-game chat is trying to gaslight me into thinking they knew. I don't believe you guys. <laughs> that does kind of sound like it would be a fruit. Or some kind of thing you could get in boba. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> I, I literally don't believe you guys. Nessa! How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Can I ask, are you 21? No. I am about to turn 19 in like a month. <laughs> oh, that's who Fart Spray is. I remember seeing someone say that horse's name earlier. I didn't, <laughs> didn't know what horse it was though. So that's what fart that's what fart spray looks like. I'm not gonna mention Tango's age unless Tango wants to. All you guys need to know is Tango is older than me. Ah, uh, yes. Kitten's definitely 10,369 years old. I can definitely confirm. Oh. Lemon? I don't know Lemon's age. I'm sorry. I'm- my- Everybody's screaming Chango or whatever in the in-game chat. It's, I think, fried my brain a little bit. I will gladly purchase oranges. Everybody has oranges for sale. Just like tell me and I'll go buy them as long as they're not outrageous. Nessa, you are not a newborn fetus. I 
I'm not gonna do Island Torres at the moment. <laughs> you know the fact that the Larry on in your island is a <laughs> in a tree. Yeah, okay, look. That's my pet tree, Larry. The other Larry got replaced because he sucks. He was being mean, so I kicked him off my island, and I replaced him with a talking tree. Buy 100 oranges for a million? No! <laughs> Hey, no bullying Tango in the chat. I can still remove your messages, Nessa. Don't you tell me? Okay, hold on. Let me go look real quick. <laughs> ah, okay. That makes sense. Remove it. Here, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on. Tango, your mod is gonna disappear for a second. I'm making you a managing moderator. There. Now you can delete other mods messages. Here's the thing you underestimate, Emily. I literally have never finished watching a TV show entirely because I lose my I lose my attention on the show. I've watched so many shows, but I've never finished a single one. horse jumped and didn't play the jumping animation. <laughs> There's somebody over there just been kicking Larry the tree for like ages. Bro, like I I like shows if orange is for sale, I will go check it out then. Let's go! I finally made that jump! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm very proud about that. Finally made the jump. Took me long enough. You seen Harry Potter? No. I have not. Boing! Oranges! Um, bye now. Bye. Dice lose connection. No. Not letting me buy them. Okay, there we go. That works. Thank you. I appreciate it. Someone said tree <laughs> beam. You're still kicking the tree? Oh my gosh. Not a buy now option. Maybe I'm just. I genuinely think that you guys have fried my brain today. I like. I'm just. I become completely stupid in the span of like the past twenty minutes. I don't know what you guys did to me, but I think you guys took my brain cells. Cute. <laughs> 
Leave poor tree Larry alone. Fart spray once a friend. Do you have a Marwari? I only have one and it's not named and I'm probably not gonna keep it. Well, okay, I know what that is. That's two. I'm not that dumb. I can still like do basic math and talk. But like I'm I keep doing things that like shouldn't be that like I shouldn't because it's really obvious. At the same time, it's like No, it's window? Oh man. Maybe I maybe I can't do basic math anymore. Offer for this horse. Uh, I am good. I did actually catch one of those, finally. No Chick-fil-A sauce. I, I, I feel like I've been watching too much YouTube lately because I know exactly what that reference is. <laughs> Hey, do you guys want to know a secret? <laughs> you guys want to know a secret? <laughs> it's the turnaround. <laughs> oh, that's great. There was a man in the tree. <laughs> I'm putting- I'm putting him back in his tree prison. There we go. Back- he- now he's all- he's back safe and sound. <laughs> that person is- there- that horse is wobbling very badly. I'm sorry if I'm sneezing a lot. I don't know why I'm sneezing so much. Hi, Evan. You missed a lot. <laughs> Are you okay? Your horse is a little, a little wobbly. Do you have allergies? Um, not really badly, no. But I think I've been getting very stuffy the last couple of days. So I think it's allergy season. I normally get at least a little sick. How do I come out as bisexual to my parents? If you are, if you find out that they don't support that stuff, I just wouldn't tell them personally. Otherwise, I would just find a time that you think would be a good time to maybe bring it up. And then, like, kind of just slowly... Kind of be like, you know, well, I've been thinking about it and I'm not sure if I like both girls and guys, but I might like, don't, don't phrase it as like, oh, I am kind of like lean towards it. Like, I, I think I might be, you know, oh gosh, Nessa sent me something cute in DM. I am. Wow, Nessa, that's crazy. That's wild, Nessa. So cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Evan, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I was requested, I delivered. Wait, Evan, Evan, Evan. I'm about to DM you something. I also have a request. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yes! Okay, I was gonna do it. I offer for you dream marwari uh it's an obtained one it's not anything good but if you really want it i i kind of i guess look at offers for it i would probably not get it is this guy you can offer for it if you want to i'm probably not gonna keep it anyway so i might as well trade it away to somebody who actually wants it who wants to burn Larry the tree? Well, guess what? He's fireproof. I, I'm i set on kins right now, but thank you. I am not sure who Ryan is, but hi, Ryan. Okay, here. We find them. Although they're blowing up the tree. <laughs> it's okay, he's fireproof. Uh here, I, I have an idea. How about you take the stuff out and you can just have it. Because I don't really want it. Sounds like a fair trade to me. Sounds like a really fair trade to me. Very fair. Have you babyified? I have not- I don't have a cop one yet. That one was just an obtained one. Let me first offer for a Ken. That's a trade for one. All of my spare kins are on my alt account right now, so I don't have any kins I can trade at the moment. Uh, I am good. I don't need a red den marwari at the moment. I know. I you seem like you will like you'll do something useful with them, so you know, might as well give it to somebody who actually wants it. Like, as much as I'd love to just get, like, a million of the Pastel Dreams Marwaris, I know I shouldn't. It's just gonna clog up my inventory again. Hold on, I'll reinforce him really quick. Let me reinforce him real quick. Mm, what can I use to reinforce him? Actually, wait, I have a great idea. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I just got a brilliant idea. What if we take away the tree and instead... <laughs> instead... <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's not center, it's not center. <laughs> hold on. Wait, can you still access him? Hold on. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. <laughs> good luck getting to him now. <laughs> How long do you think until my new my, my my newborn Larry will hatch? How long do you think until he hatches? Can I give you a care? I I. I don't know why you would feel the need to give me a single carrot. I appreciate it, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. About a month? Okay. Sounds pretty reasonable. A few decades. <laughs> I 
Now they want to eat them. At least it's a little less destructive, I guess, right? I'm gonna replant my flowers. Flowers. Oh, also, Tango, you, you're obligated to hang out with me after stream. I waited all day for you to wake up. And then you got distracted by a game and I started streaming. So you're obligated to hang out with me after stream. Oh, no, don't worry. I got plenty of flowers. I just like planting flowers. It makes me happy. So every time I have enough, I just plant my garden again. I'm more than set on flowers for like ever. <laughs> I have a thousand turquoise flowers. You know what I should do? You know what I should do? Hold on. What I should do is before summer starts, I should do a stream where I just give flowers to everybody for the end of spring. I did that for a video one time. I just chased around random people as a creepy Easter rabbit and gave them flowers and then ran away. <laughs> No, I was just cosplaying as the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny doesn't give out flowers. They give out actually good stuff. Like candy or toys or things like that. Not flowers. <laughs> I just had a lot of flowers that I didn't want. So I just dumped them on random people. <laughs> and I dressed up as, as the Easter Bunny as a joke. I looked so stupid. <laughs> No, I'm not. We're not having this conversation again. I'm not Santa Claus. You have an Arabian portrayed? I don't think so. Guys, Mr. Beast, actually. Yeah, that's... Uh-huh, totally. I prefer a backpack. What do you want for it? Because that's... It's gonna depend. What do you want for it? May I ask advice? Sure, what's up? I might not be able to help, but I can try. No, I'm not. I'm not that old yet. For your information, I'm the youngest adult on the mod team. The youngest adult. There's people younger than me, but I'm the youngest adult on the mod team. Caden is the baby of the mod team. Who's the oldest? I think Evan's the oldest. Say your boyfriend gave you a promise ring, but he never wears his. Don't wear yours. <laughs> if he ain't gonna wear his, you don't wear yours. If he asks you about it, say, well, you weren't wearing yours, so I don't feel like it was important to wear mine if you're not gonna wear yours. You're gonna give me something nice? Okay. <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> Someone's horse is literally doing front flips right now. <laughs> you have a very talented horse. <laughs> what is your horse doing? I love when people's horses glitch out terribly. It's it's so funny to me.
or maybe a horse like what kind of horse the best i could do right now is like maybe like a cross coat percheron not a cross coat percheron a cross coat like Frisian or something You want a cross coat fusion by any chance? Here, jump off your horse. I'll trade you. What was my horse doing? Flips? I don't know. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Stop running away. Come here. My voice cracked really bad. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll let you pick. Do you want. This guy, uh, this guy, or I have a Clydesdale one as well. Which one do you want? You could have one of them. Pick which one you want. Or you could pick two, since there's two. I really don't care. But I need them gone anyway. I'm not the Tooth Fairy. Can you do the Clyde and the Free? Yes. The win-win for everybody. You get some cool horsies and I get some stuff that I desperately need to fix my inventory problems. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna look at people's islands right now because I know last time that Tem did that, it turned into a big issue. So just to avoid any conflict today, I'm not gonna do that. I might do a stream for that at some point, so I feel like that'd be a fun stream. Alright, let's go ahead and boost my inventory once more. Slowly but surely, we're freeing up more and more inventory space. I appreciate it, but I am not accepting gifts at the moment. Whose island are you on? I'm on my own island at the moment. <gasps> Wait, you know what I want to do at some point? I don't know if I'm going to do it right now, but I want to do it at some point. You guys like Horse Valley? Because this is like a Wild Horse Island and other games stream. You guys like Horse Valley? <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Horse Valley lately. And I got a bunch of really cute horses lately. And I really want to show you guys. I have a new favorite on Horse Valley. And I think you guys would really like him. His name is Pancake. Hey, we ain't... We, we don't disrespect Horse Valley in this household. We, we don't disrespect Horse Valley in this household. That was a pioneer Roblox horse game. We don't, we don't disrespect Horse Valley in this household. You can dislike it if you want, but we ain't, we ain't, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be mean towards Horse Valley in this household. Look, it's okay, right? You don't have to be good at the game. You don't have to be good at a game to enjoy it. If you guys saw my short I posted earlier today, you guys would have seen Pancake. But what you guys probably don't know is Pancake has a baby now. Like, oh my god. I don't know why I like Horse Valley so much. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's a, it's a kind of boring at times. I played it for like seven hours almost today. Was it almost? It was almost six. Almost seven or almost six. I don't remember. One of the two. I played it for way too long today. So. <laughs> 
Yeah. The other horses have to be upgraded all the way to have babies still. Yes. But they made training actually worth it now. You earn money for training your horses in Horse Valley now. Here, I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal with you guys. I'll make a deal with you guys. Hold on. Wait, actually, before I make a deal with you guys, I gotta make sure I can actually fulfill the deal. Right? Let me make sure I can actually fulfill the deal first. And then we can make a deal, chat. That benefits all of us. Okay, I'll make a deal with you guys. <laughs> I have the resources. We go to Horse Valley for a little bit. And you guys listen to me rant and show off all my Horse Valley horses. And I'll gift five subs. I'll, I'll gift five memberships. So, like, you'll get early access to videos. Five people. Five people will get early access to videos. We'll also get priority reply. So, that means I'm more likely to talk to you in chat and respond to your comments and things like that. Let me really quick, before we do this, before we do this. I'm going to walk you through how you can make sure your gifts are turned on so you can receive gifts so you can actually get a membership right so listen closely listen closely here hold on i'm trying to make sure i haven't done this before so hold on Okay, so what you guys are going to want to do... Oh, thank you, Emily. I appreciate it. Okay, so here's what you want to do. There should be a join button next to my name. Press it. Press the three dots near the X. Go to gift settings. And turn on allow gifts. Make sure that option is on. Or you will not have a chance to get the membership when I gift it. I'll say it one more time. You click the button that says join next to my name. It should be near the subscribe button as well. No, on this is on YouTube. If you are on the stream and you look where it says like it has my profile picture and vanilla vanilla. There should be a button that says join. Press it. Three dots. Gift settings. Turn on allow gifts. Oh, there's the super chat finally. Let me see. Is there any other options? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out for you guys. Okay, here, you can also go to this URL and it'll take you directly to the little pop-up thing to allow gifts. If you use that URL, it should take you directly to the thing to allow gifts. What's happening? I, to I told chat... I said, if you guys listen to me rant and show off my horses in Horse Valley, I'll gift five memberships. Nope. You do not have to be in game. You have a chance to earn the membership. It will give five memberships randomly to people in chat that have allowed gifts on. And if you don't get one today, you always have more future attempts because I give away 10 free memberships a month. It doesn't, I just, there's no set day. It's just two times, two separate times. Sometime within the month. 
and I give out free memberships. So we are gonna go over to Horse Valley. I'm gonna show you guys my horses and stuff like that. And then I will gift you guys the memberships. All right, Horse Valley time. I'm not gonna actually like play too much because I don't wanna burn myself out. But still, I'm gonna join an empty server with one person. So you guys are free to join if you want to and show off your horses as well. Said I'm not allowed. If it says you're not allowed, I, I'm assuming that's something with your YouTube settings or parental controls or things like that. No, oh, what I can one day can you teach me that's doing horse valley? I can definitely do that, Caden. Just let me know. Like hit me up at some point and I'll 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 show you. Okay, I unfold screen my thing for some reason. First things first, this is Pancake. I love it. I also finally caved and bought the mohawk. Because I, I think it looks really cute on Pancake. This is Pancake. I love him. I'd say he's probably my favorite. He's probably going to be my main horse on here. Look at him. I love Pancake so much. He's my boy. Alright, I'll show you guys some other horses. You guys want to see Pancake's baby? Oh, wait. They're in they're in the training thing right now. Hold on. Let me get on Pancake real quick and run over there. I want to eat him. He is... I'm sorry to break to you, but he is not edible. Uh, you changed horses through your backpack now. They changed it since, like, a while back. Yeah, I posted a short about him today. Okay, now I can show you Pancakes, baby. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. This is Pancakes, baby. He doesn't have a name yet. I'm not sure what to name him. So if anybody has name suggestions, I will gladly take them. You got- you cannot steal him, I'm sorry. <laughs> name him Waffles. I see uh, two people said Waffles. How are we feeling about Waffles? It seems like we already have two people in chat that agree on it. <laughs> I feel bad for the place. I swear I was the only person to serve a minute ago. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe to say that Waffles is the name for this little guy. And then Fred. Waffles! Okay. Because he's just a little guy. He's so little. Alright, I'll show you guys some of my other favorites. This is Cheese Steve. We love Cheese Steve. He is iconic. Look at this beautiful man. Cheese Steve. Um, let's see. I'm trying to go through like the ones I actually use a lot and things like this is Crispy. Crispy is my nightmare horse. I got him as a gift. How do you dismount? Um, you click the button at the bottom of your screen in the middle of the bottom of your screen. Make sure you're standing still and then press the button at the bottom of your screen. Let's see. I also got a bunch. I have a ton of, like, gift horses. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. This is Paris. This is one of my favorite gifts that I've gotten. I am actually going to... First things first. Hold on. Okay, this is the right one. I'll give you the mohawk because I just really like the mohawk a lot. I can't look. Okay. We also have... This is Pascal. He's for a breeding project I'm working on right now. Let's see. We also have... Oh, wait. I almost forgot. This is Prince. My Gen 10. And if you guys have never played Horse Valley and you don't know what a Gen 10 is, I will show you. Watch this. Bro, 
Oh, bro, it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, he's very quick. Gen 10s are very quick. Uh, we also have Duke. I'm not gonna trade right now, guys. This is Duke. I have Prince and Duke. They're my two Gen 10s. I'm sticking to, like, a royalty theme for my Gen 10s. Uh, there's also this cute little guy that was a gift named Daydream. I have, hold on, I have so many horses. This is the nab stripper I bought, which I have a video coming out with them. How do you get more horses? Um, you see that big paddock over there? You can purchase them over there. Who's your fa- who's your fave all in all horse? Um, I would say Pancake is my absolute favorite right now. Here's Barbie for you guys who watched the um the pony video. This is Barbie. Here she is. Can I ride the horse later? Sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, so that's Barbie. And you guys already saw waffles. This is cheesecake. We actually bred cheesecake on stream quite a while back. Uh, you are unnamed. Oh, yeah. Pixar is another one. We had, like, a cartoon theme going on. Pretty sure we also have one named Disney. I bred Pixar on stream as well. Where is Disney at? I know there is a, there's a horse named Disney in here somewhere. I think I went past him. Oh, yeah. Here they are. This is Disney. All the ice cream. Yes, there is dogs in Horse Valley now. There's dogs and cats, but they kind of just like walk around. They don't have any significant use besides being cosmetic. We also have Biscuit in Horse Valley. It's Biscuit. How do we see if a horse needs food or water or shower again? Um, they changed it. Now it's in the task menu with like the question. Hold on, let me. Wrong way. You see the question mark? You click this, it'll tell you when your horse is hungry, thirsty, um, little, like, arena things, if it's dirty, if it's sleepy. Also, if it's sleepy, it'll, like, close its eyes and, like, be falling asleep and stuff. And if it's hungry or thirsty, it'll have, like, a little icon floating around its face. So there's multiple ways to tell, but the task list is your best bet. Come on. I also... Shout out to the person who gave me Milk Way. I love their name. It made me giggle. This is Milkway. This was a tech A that a viewer gifted me just like the other day. Absolutely love Milkway. They're a cutie. They are actually Pancake's... Are you a man? Yeah, this is Pancake's dad. So Milkway is Pancake's dad. And then Pancake is Waffle's dad. There is pets in game now, yes. Yeah, if it's dirty, it has a giant stink cloud around it. <laughs> yeah, I'll get Barbie back out. Here's Barbie. My Morgan's always stinky. I have a dog. I still haven't named it. He's just kind of there be honest man oh my potatoes are ready i'm gonna i'll just harvest those later i'm not gonna do that right now but like i have been obsessed with horse valley if you can't tell by how much money i have i had like 20k earlier today so yeah that's pretty neat i definitely don't have a problem I'm gonna put some of my horses in here to grow up or well like get their stats up at least Throw these guys in here for like an hour You get back to Wild Horse Island. I'm not gonna check out like petting zoos or islands or anything today 
Yeah, exactly. I'm so much more motivated to train now because it actually like gives you money for training. Yeah, when I saw they added, like, um, what is it? When I saw they added that you earn money from training your horses, I was very happy. Um, I don't know if I'll maybe make, like, a community tab post about it or something. And if enough people really want me to do, like, a checking out island stream, I'm not opposed to it. I'd be fine with that. All right, chat. You guys put up with, with my ranting about Horse Valley. You guys ready? Let's see who gets them. Kaden, Lavender, Soap, Vicky, and Tack. Congratulations, guys. We're gonna we're gonna hear the little uh the little like pop-up thing for a little bit. <laughs> It's completely random. I wish there was a way to like give them to specific people, but it's completely random. Like, oh, cream puff is really cute. I like the black and yellow tag. Here, hold on. I feel like doing something nice. Who who here is in game right now? Where did everybody go? Everybody just like evaporated. Okay. Now guys. I want you guys show me your best horse and if you only have like the starter horse pull out that one i want to see what horses everybody has i want to see your guys's coolest horses like who's your favorite what's your coolest horse i like the blue and pink tack very cute Oh my gosh, you guys, I, I don't, I need, I need to actually, like, invest in making better tax sets. I love the cute little tax sets you got. Oh, I like Cloudy's tax set. That's a really pretty color. You guys have such pretty stuff. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like doing something nice. You. Nikki, are you on stream... Can you hear me on stream? Like, can you see, can you see stream and everything like that? Because if so, I have a proposition for you. I have a proposition. Okay, come here. It's different on my screen, so you're gonna have to look at my screen. Right, I'm gonna get on a horse real quick. Come this way. I want you to look at my screen. And I want you to look at my screen and pick any horse in this pasture, and I'll buy it for you. But you have to look through my screen, because it is different on everybody's screen. So we have a female Morgan. Yes, it can be any any of them. We have a female Morgan. We have a male Thoroughbred. Female Knobstrupper. We have... Female Andalusian. We have a male Arabian, a male Teke, and there's an Appy over here. I don't know what gender it is. And a female Appy. Which one would you like? Any of them. Pick one, and I'll buy it for you. The knob strapper? All right. Here, come here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put it away. I forgot. I forgot I have to put it away. It won't let me trade it. Okay, here. Let me find it. Yeah. 
You're welcome. I, I have a bunch of money. I felt like doing something nice. So you better take good care of them. <laughs> um, just for the moment, I'm not going to accept gifts because I'm probably going to go back to Bot Horse Islands here in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's already been two hours. So, membership doesn't stay forever. If you get gifted a membership, it will disappear after a month unless you go through, like, the join member process and set up a payment system and stuff like that. It will not auto-renew if it's a gift, as far as I'm aware. So, it the your gifted membership will disappear after a month. Oh, where is my horse? I don't know where I left them. Oh, wait, I think I unequipped them. A pancake. This pancake need pancake is hungry and thirsty. What should I name the horse you gave me? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe maybe ask some other people from chat. They probably have better name suggestions than I do. All right, earn a little bit of money from taking care of Pancake. Um, also, I'm not doing this today, but I'm just gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna have a video at some point soon. Because I promised I'd give away a pony. And I'll be giving away a free Shetland pony. On Horse Valley. It'll be a video. I don't know when that's gonna be out. But I'm just letting you guys know that's gonna happen at some point. Because I promised in one of my old Horse Valley videos that if it reached a certain amount of likes, I would give away a free pony. And it did, and I just haven't got around to it, so. Uh, to get Rachel to train your horses, you have to do a quest first. I believe you can start the quest over at the saloon, which is over here. It's by this little pavilion, and it's by Charlie's shop. This building right here with the cowboy hat on the front. I would love to see fjords in Horse Valley. I'm excited to see what other breeds and stuff they add in the future, but I also hope they add more game mechanics and stuff as well. Yeah. If you see this right here, have you seen my necklace? I believe you can interact with that, and that starts the quest. It's been a while since I've done it, so I'm not fully sure. Uh, this game is Horse Valley on Roblox. Pancake is my boy. I love him so much. I'm hoping that since I've gotten richer on Horse Valley, that I might start trying to do more giveaways on Horse Valley to help those out who don't have the patience to try to save up a bunch of money to buy the expensive horses and want to just train up some horses and get some cool crossbreeds and stuff. Because I already have a pony planned. Um, if pony one does good, I might try to do one for the knob stuffer. Uh, I still don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Um... I'll probably try to do one for the knob strapper. I'll probably do one for some teches as well. They're cheaper, so I could probably do multiple of those. Like, I don't do a lot of Wild Horse Islands giveaways, but I feel like I'm more comfortable doing giveaways in Horse Valley. I don't know why. I think it just might be because Horse Valley is a lot more chill of a game and a lot more grindy to get the, like, bigger horses. And also, like, I can actually afford them. <laughs> Unlike in Wild Horse Islands, where if you want a rare horse to give away, you gotta fork out millions, pretty much. Yeah, you, you earn money from training horses no matter what. But if you train them with Rachel, you don't earn money from the ones that she's trained. So I what I usually do is I train them for an hour for 12,000 coins to get them to at least, like, plus 10, like, to the level 10, and then I train them up the rest of the way. 
Stream. I have no idea when stream will end. Probably somewhat soon, though. Not sure. So, my plan for the giveaway, which I'm hoping this works out, for the pony giveaway, is I'm just gonna have people comment. And have them comment, like, a keyword. And their username. So I'll probably be like, Okay, all you gotta do to enter the giveaway is comment, like, I don't know, the word pancake. And include your username in your comment. And then I'll pick somebody from the comments. I'm, a, I'm hoping that's gonna work. If it doesn't work, then I'll, like, I'll go from there. But, um, yeah. If you guys are tired... Go to bed! Sleepy time! If you want to go to bed, sleepy time. Here, hold on. You guys want to do something cool? Perhaps? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have a paint horse at all? Do I have a female paint horse at all? <laughs> I do. What if we- what if we let Pancake have another baby? What if we have- what if we have- what if we have Pancake have another baby? Okay, okay, okay. Let's try not to spam in chat, guys. I'm gonna run over to the breeding center. I'm gonna go kind of slow so everybody can keep up. We're all, we can head over to the breeding center together. Um, they only can breed once for free. You can breed them a second time, but it costs money. Yeah, I'm just trying to go to trot so everybody can keep up. You guys are welcome to run ahead if you want to, but I'm gonna walk so everybody can kind of keep an eye on where I'm at, especially the newer players who might not know where the breeding center is. All right, see you around, Ivy. Yeah, we have a whole herd of horses. <laughs> All right, up to the breeding center we go. Surely everybody can see it from here, so I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Making sure everybody staying on the path here. Yes, there is a breeding center in this game. It's just kinda out here in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. You guys wait here. Savannah, where are you at right now? I'll come get you. If you need help finding it, I can come get you. Just tell me where you're at. Oh, somebody has spirit in here. I'm still so mad. I sold my spirit. <laughs> I wish I didn't. Got lost, but I made it. I'm very proud of you, Kaden. Near a bunch of ranches. Here, I'll see if I can come find you. You guys wait here. I'll be back. I'm gonna see if I can help Savannah get over here real quick. Is that you over there? I think that might be you. Hold on. I'm on my way. Is this you over here? Um, I don't know if the server is full, but my joins are on for anybody. Is this you over here? Oh yeah, here, come on, this way, it's this way.
Here, okay, if anybody needs help getting to the breeding center. Down here, on Jackson's in the way, but on the bottom right, there should be a button that looks like kind of like a little pointer with a hole in the middle of it. Click that. And then click on the horse in a box. And I'll lead you guys from here because it's closer. I'll wait here in the middle. I'll give you guys a second to get over here. Because I want everybody to be included. Anybody else who needs help finding the breeding center? All right, I'm going to take these guys over. What we're going to do is we're just going to follow this path here. We're just going to follow this path all the way to the yellow building. And then when we get to the blue path, we're going to take a left. And then we're just gonna head past this little water tower and head to the building with a green roof over here. All right. Ah! Hold on. I, I, I missed the fence jump. <laughs> All right. Let me talk to Margaret. That we're gonna use pancake. And then I'm gonna use a... I'm gonna use cheesecake. That's 19.2k. I'm hoping we get a tech a paint. But if we don't, that's okay. Yes, the cake pair. Pancake and cheesecake. That's actually really cute. Alright. It's a Clydesdale Quarter. Okay. I don't have this one yet, I don't think. It's a little girl, I believe. Hold on. Yes, it is a little girl. Alright, what should we name her, guys? Should we stick to, like, the pancake waffle theme? Or should we name him after Cheesecake? Oh, for some reason when I went into editor, it stole this person's wig. I'm- I'm- It- it took your weave. A couple people are just saying, like, cake by itself. Oh, funnel cake's really cute, actually. I kind of like funnel cake. How we feeling about funnel cake? Oh man, now I'm hungry. Funnel cake sounds really good. <laughs> I think I'm- I- you guys have lots of cute names, but I think I'm gonna go funnel cake. Because it fits the theme very well, in my opinion. Funnel cake! Alright, and you know what? Just for you guys, we'll do it again. Pancake and who? Who shall we use? Has to be female. Um, we could use Paris, possibly. Or we could try another paint and try to get another- uh, try to- uh, for an Akal paint again. We could do Cocoa Puffs, which is a Frisian paint. 
We use Cocoa Puffs, maybe? I don't know, what do you guys think? Cocoa Puffs or Paris? Should I name my, Sh my Shetland Pony? Um, Dorito. This first thing that came to mind. Um, I don't know if the ponies are breedable with any of the other ones. Like, here I can look. Yeah, a different breed. Guys, don't spam your suggestions in chat, please. Here, I have, a, I have a better solution, since I'm not getting a very clear answer. Tango, should we use Cocoa Puffs or Paris? Cocoa Puffs is a Frisian paint, and Paris is an Andalusian Clydesdale. Which one should we use? I'm making Tango decide. Paris? Alright. Guys! No, I'm trying to do this, hold on. All right, if if it's another Akel slide, you can have it if you want, Tango. Ooh, that's expensive. It's it's a baby pancake. It's a little baby pancake. Oh, is it a boy? It is a boy. It's a little miniature pancake. He's a just, just a little guy. Pancake Jr. I'm just gonna I'm gonna temporarily name him Pancake Jr. You can rename him if you want. You can take him if you want, Tango. If you want him, just let me know and I'll save him for you. He just, he's just a little guy. He's so cute. Baby pancake. Wait. No, 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 no. Not pancake junior. Pancake batter. Because to get a pancake, like a full pancake, you have to have pancake batter. The pancake batter is like I don't know, kind of like the baby version of a pancake. I don't know. I feel like I'm stretching it, but I feel like the pancake batter is cute. Pancake batter. Okay, okay, okay. I'm very happy. He's very cute. He's the cute little guy. Go unplug the glue gun. Ah, uh, pretty much all of my foals are not for trade because 90% of them are gifts. <laughs> because a lot of people really love to give me foals they don't feel like growing up. Oh, me. I kind of want to try for another Teke paint. Hold on. Flat. Do I have a female Teke? Oh, but that's the one I was gonna save for a video! I- they're all- they're all men. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, what if, okay, what if, change of plans, we use a guy, we use Milkway, and then we use a paint, I have a female paint horse? Um, okay, I'll use, I'll just use cheesecake and hope. Cross your fingers, guys! We're going for paint teke. No! <laughs> Darn it! We got the wrong one. 
Is it a little girl or a little boy? Let me see. A little girl. I'm gonna try again. It's fine, it's fine. If I go broke, it's okay. I'll just earn it back by playing for another six hours. I'm trying again. Okay, we got it this time. <laughs> we got it this time. What do we name this one? Spending habits at its finest. Yes, and I have 7.5k to spare. Someone, okay, someone in, okay, look, hear me out, right? Someone in chat just said cream. What if I name it cream cheese? What if, what if I name them cream cheese? Cream cheese. Wait, hold on. I want to check something real quick. Actually, what am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? I want to check something real quick. So I spent 12k on that foal, right? Can I sell it? Earn money? And if so, how much? Oh, no, that's not even worth it. Alright, see you around, Layla. Um, I don't know, Tango, to be honest. Yeah, that's another six hours sitting down and playing. Oh, wait, really quick, let me check something real quick. You were a gift. You were bread. It's usually the ones I bought, I train them, I breed them, and then resell them for money. <laughs> so it makes my life a little easier. All right, though. I'll have to earn some more money in Horse Valley later. <sighs> I'm probably gonna end stream here in a minute or so. Cause I'm getting a little bit of a headache. I'm checking my... Damn. We good. Um, I'll probably play more Wild Horse Islands later. Or tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Um, I'll do a poll about it. <laughs> I know I keep saying I'm gonna do polls. I make a lot of polls on my community tab. This is your guys' cue to go check out my community tab frequently. Because I post a lot of polls there. <laughs> like... Oh, Kaden, you got a tech? Hey, that's nice. Um, I'm sure there's probably some beginner's tutorials for Horse Valley on YouTube. I would suggest looking those up if you want to get into the game and you're not really sure where to start. Um, I do know they've changed a bunch of stuff recently, so... Um, you're... Hey, I don't think horses are supposed to bend like that. You stream you staring at the sky just for like an hour. Star you staring at why that feels like it'd be really boring i went to bed at like this time last night but i don't know what 
came over me. I was just exhausted. But like, I don't know. I'll probably be up for a little while longer. Because I still have to force Tango to hang out with me. So. I'm not going to do a race right now. If you guys really like Horse Valley. Then I have some Horse Valley videos coming out soon. And I will gladly do more Horse Valley streams if you guys are interested in that. Alright though. I am going to end stream. I hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the little gifted subs and stuff. Um, I do really want to play more Horse Valley for streams. As well as try to get back into um, Wild Horse Island some more again. Because I got a little burnt out for a little while. Uh, I'm going to post a couple polls in the community tab. So keep an eye out for that. But I hope you guys have a good day or night. I will see you all later. Bye, guys.